All right, we got a game versus a 3K on Fox. I've been trying to get some on uh, OGS, but it takes a long time for me to find a game on OGS, unfortunately. Um, and you know, the thing is, I realize on OGS in the upper Ks and Dans, realistically, like, not a lot of people, there's not a lot of people on there, so I keep on playing the same people over and over again. And I don't really like that. Definitely don't really like that. Uh, no, that's not worth it. Okay. Just gonna go ahead and uh, do this, I guess. Not sure what he's trying to accomplish here, but I'll go ahead and do this. Uh, yeah, not a good move. Also, not a good move. I think I'm just going to go with this move now. Can't really kill me. That's also a really bad move. Because if he comes down, I'm just going to play here. If he goes anywhere else, I can just go back here. That solidifies my entire corner. And don't forget, he has a problem uh, right here. Well, not, not really, but what the heck is that? Thing is, like, he doesn't have too many liberties in here. He doesn't have that many liberties in here, so I'm not really afraid of him like doing stuff. Yeah, he can't beat me in terms of liberties on here. This is not, this is not a fight he's gonna win. He has to realize that. It's not a fight he is going to win. Yeah, also, like, he actually can't fight me here. He also cannot fight me here. Um, let me see, if I do this, he goes up, I charge, he has to go back, I, he does that. Yeah, like, he actually can't fight me here. Um, not at all. So that was just a bad read by him. Don't like randomly start corner fights. Uh, like you have to read into the corner fights, man. Like you can't randomly start like garbage corner fights that you're you're almost sure to lose. First of all, like poking here is a bad move because it solidifies my corner. And even if I couldn't just kill you like this, even if I jumped out the other way, it would still be beneficial for me because your group here isn't that strong right now. Um, that's, yeah, it's just complete. I mean, like, he essentially just lost the game right there. It's That's pretty hard to come... That's pretty hard to actually come back from. I'm going to take it, um, because I don't want his peep over here. That is not all that great of a move either. I mean, it's... I, I don't know if he's really trying to attack me or something, but that's just not going to work, and I'm going to ignore him. Like, yeah, you, you can't start corner moves like this. Um, peeping here makes my corner very strong, and even if I could just run out right here, my group right here is not under threat uh, any what. Because, like, I actually probably shouldn't even answer that, but I know I should have just jumped, man. I should have just jumped. Okay.
Um, okay. I mean, it's Gote for him to actually like make me not alive. Uh, I'm not gonna bother, I'm just gonna do this. And I'm gonna live. So he can't attack me anymore. Oh crap. Well, that's actually not that relevant. Oh, I forgot, yeah, that. Uh, that's not really all that relevant actually. Because this is, uh, gains a couple points in the corner, it's not a big deal. Oh, I can't believe I missed that. But, you know, I've been missing a lot of, it's late, I've been missing a lot of, uh, I've actually been missing a lot of uh, easy plays lately. But these two, like, that's pointless, I'm not going to answer that. It's not worth me answering. So like that's probably like seven, eight points. But at this point in the game, like you you really don't want to be um you really don't want to be playing seven eight points. That's also not a very good move by me. I think I'm too relaxed. I should have like done this or something. But um that's also not a very good move. Didn't expect that though. I think you should just come right across the top because this is this is not good for him. So let's me into this territory. I mean, yeah, he does get the influence on top, but he does actually get but he loses way too much territory here. Like he built a bunch of influence. I mean, it's cool that he built a bunch of influence, but um, the influence, I don't really know if it's going to do all that much. I mean, that's, that's pointless, though. I mean, I can just fly up here. Just break his shape a little bit. I'm gonna go ahead and do this. Because um, he has to cover and there is gonna be a little bit of Aji here later. Is this alive? Not really sure. Pretty sure it is, but I don't know for certain. I don't see a way he can kill me. Yeah, I really don't. I'm pretty sure it's alive. Yeah, there's just too many too long here. So like, I'm just gonna break his influence here. Um, he doesn't really have a good way to deal with this. You know what, I'm just gonna connect this just so he doesn't extend out here. The, my, my goal has basically been accomplished. And I wanted to break his uh, inf like. Okay, so the only real reason. I feel like I should just let him have the corner on here. And not really attack him. All right, whatever. We'll 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 attack just for fun. Um, giant wall over here so I guess I can do this that's useless that's that's not big enough uh, for me to be interested in that is not nearly big enough for me to actually be interested in that because Yo, Yomi now starts that's essentially like that's a couple of points maybe but it's not it's not enough yeah I'm just gonna if he does that I'm just gonna go on the bottom I 
so these are pretty critical moves that um, you should actually know. These are pretty critical moves that uh, you should know. Uh, like when he Atari's here, you, you don't have to connect here. Nine, you, eight, you can roll on seven. The Six. The one five. thing about I will say about OGS players. Yo Yomi now starts. The one thing I will actually say about OGS players is that the OGS, um, the people in the OGS Dan ranks are actually, uh, the people in the OGS Dan ranks are like in the lower Dan and upper Q ranks. They're really strong. Like the Fox players in the upper upper Dan and lower Q ranks, I have no problem beating. Uh, I mean, in the upper Q, lower Dan ranks, like 1, 2 Dan, I don't really have any problem beating. The OGS players, like, and I think I know why as well. See, the, the thing on OGS, um, unlike Fox. Nine, eight, the thing seven, on OGS, unlike six, Fox, five, four, is that I three, think there's a lot of strong two, players one. stuck up in the, uh, there's a lot of strong players actually stuck in the, yeah, there's a ton of strong, like, there's a lot of stronger players kind of stuck in the um, upper Q, lower Dan ranks. And I feel like they're much, much stronger than, I feel like they're so much stronger than, like, um, you know, one or two Dan. Or, like, one or two Q. I feel like they're so much stronger than one or two Q. He doesn't have enough liberties, so uh, this is not really an issue for me. It's not actually even a liberties battle. Um, you just you just can't win at this point. Like if I do this, there's really nothing you can do. That's useless. Um, I don't have to close this off. Close this off, I don't think. But I'm gonna go ahead and close this off just so there's nothing. Oh, no Aji. If I close this off, I'm winning by like 80 points, so it doesn't really matter. Um, usually, if this was a close game, I would just you know, do something like this. That is useless. And that is like an example of uh, Gote and dying at the same time. You still don't have two eyes. Don't do that, guys. You still don't have two eyes. Um, and you're just kind of dead. I'm not going to bother attack this. I'm just going to get all this territory down here and declare victory. All right, so you resign. Like I was saying, like OGS 1Q1 Dans, they're pretty strong. Um, and also what I realized is I played a lot against some 3 and 4 Dans and 1Q1 one, one Dans. There doesn't seem to be that much of a strength difference. Like if I play against like a 1Q and like a 6 Dan on Fox, there's a big strength difference. But if I play against like a 1Q... And like a three dan on OGS, the one Q actually might be stronger. I feel like, there, like I said, I play against a lot of the same players uh, in the upper Q, lower Dan ranks, and I feel like there's just a lot of people stuck down there, and that's why like they just play each, and we just play each other, so we never really rank up. OGS, I know, try to solve that problem by moving three ranks up, but I kind of feel like like in the upper Q, lower Dan ranks, like there's just a bunch of people stuck there. Because, like, I can actually reach 5 or 6 Dan on Fox without too much trouble in terms of ranking, but I'm actually having a hard time, like, getting past the lower Dan ranks. Sometimes I'll drop back into the upper Qs, and then, like, other times I'll, like, uh, you know, rise up into the... Uh, I'll rise up into, like, the lower Dans, but I'm having trouble getting past that rank. I'll eventually probably get past it, but it's going to take me a little while. But with OG, but with Fox, it's not really that much of a big deal. So let's actually go back and review this game, because... Um, this game is uh, kind of interesting in how he played it. So basic start, um, I generally like to start one lower than how he puts it here, how this stone is. But if he puts here, I'm going to start here as well. So that's, I mean, I personally think that, I mean, there's nothing really wrong with this move. I personally think that like something like this is still way better though. But that's my own opinion. Some people might disagree. Uh, I start with this approach. That's not a good move because you're actually giving up the corner over here. Um, the thing is, like, if you want to play like I am, I would just do this with him. 
And yes, I do get some of this side, but he gets Sente and he gets the corner. So, you know, when you when you already have a stone right here, you're building for this side anyways. So just go so just go ahead and play the regular um Joseki. You can even do this right here. That would actually work pretty well. Like just do go ahead and do the regular Joseki and uh get your uh get your territory cuz you know like you still have Sente, you can come over here and you're already a little bit like I would say like I like even right now, I just like black shape, just a little bit more than white right now, um, just by this move. So you don't really need to do something like this because that kind of gets me the corner. That's also not a good move because um, this just gets me more of the corner and you don't really get anything from this, honestly. So, I mean, this, you just kind of like do this because if you do this, there's always a future possibility of this move and Specifically, like right now, um, there's always like possibilities. This, I mean, I wouldn't do this right now because you have this move, obviously, but you leave a lot of like Aji to be desired at this point. Or you know, yeah, like there's there's a lot of stuff that can actually there's a lot of things that can actually happen here that um, you may not really want to uh, you may not really want to deal with right now. I mean. It just leaves the possibility of uh, Aji if you, if you leaves the massive possibility of Aji if you do this. And there's also like this move later on. So probably just want to do this and then like have me do that. And that's not too bad either, considering you still have the stone right here and you have potential over here. Still not as good as the other one, but still very, very much acceptable. But he doesn't do that. He does this, which gives me the entire corner. I do this. Um, I don't think this gives him all that much. It's not too bad, but the fourth line, I generally will retreat. Like this and just take the territory um he's gonna oops he's gonna do this um i am not very good at answering this i i definitely want to attack which is what i did but that might not actually be the best move he could just he could honestly just do this and i would actually be probably forced to do this he could probably do this and then i would just ignore him but he builds a pretty good wall over here and while he, i'm not really in danger down here this doesn't really feel good for me uh, I might also just do this, but then like you get into kind of a fight um, and I'm not really like, you know, this is, it, it's, it's a lot more complex, I think. Um, it's a lot more complex. I'm not really in any real threat down here. Like I'm really not in any real threat down here. By the way, I can't do this obviously because of that. Uh, I'm not in any real threat down here because there's essentially like, I'm, I'm basically alive. Uh, but you know, like this um, fight may not favor me all that much. I mean, you're not gonna be able to kill this group, but I'm not gonna be able to kill this group. And you might be able to get a lot of territory down here with it as well. So, you know, so essentially like, I think what I would do is do this. Um, if I choose to do this, uh, there are, I mean, there are issues with this because uh, this I would probably have to extend or possibly Hane this because otherwise if if I just do some otherwise um, Doing this would actually cause me issues. I would I would not be able to do this because this this would actually be This this break would cause me huge problems. So If in this kind of shape this Hane would cause me problems if I do this I'm no long. I'm not really like I'm not really alive here so that's a big, big issue. Like this doesn't really work. Um, and probably just retreat here. Um, oh, hang on. I don't think this works. Uh, yeah, this doesn't work. This is like a one shot kill. So that doesn't really work uh, for white. So essentially, yeah, I, I feel like I feel like um, that would actually be the right move. It would force me to be do this. And if I were to do this, then I guess black would be okay because that's a lot of influence up here. Yeah, I do get a lot of territory down here, but there's a lot of influence up here. And I think that's actually kind of worth it. for. That's definitely worth it for black to get that much influence that early. So that's not one trade I would actually want. Um, that doesn't make any sense. That lets me come out. Uh, well, I mean, it does make sense. It tries to destroy my eye down here, but because I have this down here, like you're not really gonna threaten me. Uh, that's I don't I don't really like this move. I mean, that's that's an easy answer, right? 
because like if you you kind of take away the possibility of doing something like this later i mean here you block out my eye a lot uh, more and you get a little bit more of a base here whereas if you just do this and i block i mean it's i'm essentially alive you can't really threaten me um yeah so that's obviously a bad move uh, that solidifies me more over here. It does get you a base, but it, it's it's a pretty damaging move. And your your group here isn't really that threatened anyways. You can just jump out. So I don't know. And if you're going to do that, if you're going to do this, you might as well just do this because um, I'm essentially not going to play this with you because I'm not going to win that. So I would actually have to do this. And that would actually be a lot better than what he came up with. So this is... Probably the worst of all moves possible. Uh, solidifies me there, jump up, I get this. This is an awful move. Um, I mean, the thing is, uh, you can't really threaten this. I mean, you gotta think this out first. You can't really threaten this. If, if you do this, like the best move here might be to do this, but I can still do that. And I mean, if you do this, if you end up doing, you know, something like, uh, not this, I wouldn't do that. But if you do end up doing something like that, that's a gote and you're pretty much dead at that point. So once, like you can't really threaten my two stones over here. If you jump out, I mean, that's fine, but I still get all the territory and now you just have a bunch of scattered stones. That's, that's not a very good thing for you right now. So this is a really bad move. Uh, this, pro this loses him a lot of points. Of course, this doesn't work because I have this move. And I, I think like after I do this move, you're pretty much dead. Um, I guess you, I mean, you just don't have enough liberties. Regardless of what you do, you really don't have enough liberties. Uh, I, I mean, you can't really cut, right? Because this is already an Atari, so you can't really do anything here. Um, yeah, like this is basically dead. After I do this, you don't have any liberties. That, that, that push just makes it worse. Um, obviously I'm going to cut, you do this, I'm going to do this, you do this. I don't think he counted on that, uh, because obviously this doesn't work. Now, what are you going to do exactly? Like, if you do this, I'm just going to push out. And there's a variety of things I can do. I can go here, and you would have to do this. And I would be just be able to get the entire side. Uh, if you don't do that and you do this, I'm going to take this and this is Gote for you. This is already dead, I'm, so I'm not going to... And, and actually, you can't even, like, you really can't even do anything here. Um, I can just extend out. And you would still have to kind of, like, do this. This is already dead, so I would just Hane here. And, you know, now you have problems here as well. So... You know, that's just, it, it's not uh, its not something that you can actually, it's not a fight you can actually win. So definitely not a very good move here. He basically lost the game. That This is actually like a really bad outcome. I get the influence on the outside and I get these five stones. So now he does that. I'm going to take that. Uh, I'm going to do this. Now, technically, I probably should have answered here, but I just got greedy. Um, he does this. I do this. When he did this, uh, I should have just jumped. When he does this, I should have just jumped out. Um, it's a much, much safer play uh, than that. I mean, yeah, there is this, uh, but there, there is that. But uh, I mean, like now, like this group is actually in trouble. And in, in this case, I might be, even be able to do this. Um, no, that's actually alive, so I probably can't. I think this is actually alive. Yeah, so I can't actually. No, it's a. Yeah, that's actually alive. I can't actually do that. But, um, but uh, here I probably should have just either jumped out or just even came out here. I mean, you can't. This is this has all sorts of problems if you try to do this. Uh, this definitely has all sorts of problems because if you block, I can just kind of. Uh, do this and you're kind of stuck 
Um, I guess you could still try to kill me this way. It's, it's just not going to be that successful. It's really just not going to be that successful. Um, and this, like, I could just come down, you know, like... Uh, Oh, well, actually, that's not very good, but but uh, this kind of like shape has all sorts of problems, and um, the thing is, like here, I still can kind of do this, but probably jump is better here. Yeah, because the thing is, like your group here is still pretty weak. And it does take like an extra move here to actually solidify it. So if you like try to surround me or so, if you try to like surround me or something, um, if you actually try to surround me or something, it may not work out that well for you. And I probably should have just jumped out, uh, but I guess I made a mistake. I did this. He does this. Calm down. For some reason, <laughs> I forgot he had three liberties. But that's perfectly fine. Um, he does that. Now, he thinks he has me surrounded, but he forgot that this particular, uh, I have this here. So I do this, um, he does this. I'm gonna do this. Um, I guess he could have tried to, do, I guess he could have tried to do this. I'm not exactly sure how this turns out, but you know, the thing is, um, the, the thing is, I always have the option uh, to actually just do this first. And, you know, like he could try to do this. He could try to do this, uh, but then, you know, this is, this is like a, this is like, um, it's, it's not really alive, but, because at this point he would actually just do something like this, I guess, and I would still be dead. But you probably have some issues right now. Um, yeah, that's actually a pretty good, bad situation for me. It's definitely a pretty bad situation for me. So I guess he calculated this wrong. Like I was, I was really careless, unfortunately. But he should have actually gone down here. He should have definitely gone down here. Cause this would have actually given me a hard time. This would have, this would definitely have given me a hard time. I would actually have to do something like this. Um, and over here, I don't really know how I would surround him actually. Um, I probably could do something like this. And I definitely think I beat him in terms of liberties here, but you know, there's all kind of, there's kind of like problems here. I would do that. And I don't know if he has a good way to deal with this. No, he actually doesn't. So I don't know. Um, maybe I, I'm not really sure how this turns out. This fighting is pretty complex. He has one, two, three. Well, he has one, two, three, four, five. He has like five or six liberties. Um, I don't think this works well for him because yeah, I have more than four, so he would actually be dead here. So that's not good for him. So like, there's a pretty complex fight here and I don't think, I really don't think he would be able to, I don't think he would actually be able to, uh, kill me. Maybe this is better for him, but you know, this is kind of like the same thing. Well, no, cause he has the eye here. He might actually beat me there. So I would actually have to uh, just do this. And basically, um, if he actually wants to kill me, he has to, he basically has to go down here first. But then, you know, like we said, there's some, uh, some trouble here. But yeah, like this is a little different. Uh, this might actually be co-live. This might actually be co-live here. Um,
because this actually, yeah, this is probably Kolev because he can't actually, uh, yeah, if he does this, it's dead. So this is probably Kolev here. Like this transformation here is pretty, uh, pretty complicated, honestly. But anyways, like he kind of just like, uh, he doesn't, he doesn't really read all those transformations and he does this. So I get to go home. These two aren't worth very much. I can sack these two anytime. Uh, those aren't worth very much. That's roughly probably like seven or eight points. Um, at this point, he does this, uh, finishes it. Um, this point, it's pointless taking these two. Like I said, they're not worth very much and I can't really kill these three anyway. So does that, uh, I'm gonna go here. Now that's probably not a good move. Like I said, this is at this point, like you, I would definitely recommend you do something like this. Um, he's not gonna be able to kill off that whole corner. You've already gone home here. You have this corner and you have like a lot of uh, potential here. So no point, in, um, no point in actually picking more fights at this point. No, no point, no, no point uh, in picking up more fights here. So I do this, picking another fight. That, I don't know, like here, realistically, um, you're really strong over here, so. Yeah, you're pretty strong over here, so, I mean, I probably wouldn't try to run this thing. Um, or even like if you did something like uh, this, this would be pretty hard to live because if I do this, you can just always just, you know, you can always just do that and you would get the bottom territory here. So that's just another thing. Like since you invested so much over here and there's a lot of stones, you probably want this territory somehow. And I mean, there's not a real good way to do it. I think this is probably the best way to do it. Um, I mean, I might even do that and just take away the corner. So, I mean, there's always just this, but I probably wouldn't do that right now. Right now, black's behind by so much that it probably doesn't matter, but I could have just easily done this uh, and then just like gave him the corner here. And then like kind of do this myself. And he might invade the 3-3, three, three, but you know, at this point, uh, it doesn't really matter if he does. I mean, I have a lot of potential over here. I have the corner. I'm going to have one of the sides. And there's a lot of Aji in the center. So even if he does invade something, like invading that wouldn't be very smart. Uh, because, like, it, it's not, I, I suppose, I mean, I don't know. I might just have enough points just by doing this. But, you know, I could just go, um, this, I, I would probably push to one side, honestly. Uh, and then I would probably try to attack him on top or something like that. Or something like this um, and see what I can actually get there or like you know I wouldn't do this I would just go ahead and do this and if he clamps then I can just do damage control like this the, there's a lot of potential here if I block here this side's mine as well so at this point I'm pretty well ahead but like I said um, like I said this this isn't necessarily a good move. Just claim the corner here. Or, you know, like claim, probably that way is better. Claim the corner here. If he invades, then just, you know, if he invades one side, just realistically take the other side. Because if you do this, you're going to have enough, you have enough points to win. And that's what's really important. You have enough points to win here. But either way, he does this, which basically foregoes his entire side and all that work. Um, that's kind of pointless uh, because you can't kill me here. If you try to contain me this way, if you try to contain me this way, I will just uh, go over here. Um, just try to contain me this way. I will just go over here. I don't. I don't think I even have to play there, but like uh, I go over here. Um, if you try to contain me like he did the other way, I just extend over here. So he tries to contain me. I go over here. He does this. Uh, I do this just because, like, for a couple more cutting points, I guess. I don't think that's necessary or even that's a good move. And then I jump up. I don't think he can kill me here. Uh, there's two liberties here, and I think four extend. No matter what you do, I think it's pretty much alive. Because if he does this, I just do this. Um, if he does this, I can just do this. 
I mean, this isn't really that complicated because he can't connect. Uh, if he does either of these cuts, I can just do this. If he does this, I can just do this. And if he does this, I just take the stone. So extend four is pretty much alive, especially with two blank liberties. I get this, he does this. I was actually kind of afraid, what if he just did this, you know, like, and just extend it out. This doesn't actually work right now because he can just come out. So that doesn't actually work. So I was a little bit afraid of what happens if he does that. Um, I wasn't really afraid because I, I think I can outlast him here. Yeah, I, I think I can pretty much outlast him here. I mean, there's, there is a lot of, um, there, there is actually like a lot of things here that could possibly go wrong, I guess. Um, this one's a little bit harder to gauge because I don't have that many liberties here, I guess. I mean, I have four, so I would probably be forced to do that. But once I do that, like, it's pretty much in the bag. So I don't think that would actually, I don't think that would actually work over there. So he didn't do that. Uh, he does this, does this. I'm just going to connect this. That fixes all my problems. Uh, my head being out here destroys all his moyo here. So at this point, I basically won. That's a pointless move because I wasn't going to do that anyways. Yes, it, it is pretty big, but that's a closing move. That's not a move you would do right now. And that just lets me have the corner. Um, this is kind of pointless now. You don't have, he doesn't, that's also pointless. That's just threatening to kill those two, but those two aren't very big. So before you threaten something, before you threat threaten something, you have to know whether it's like big enough for me to care. If I don't, if it's, if it's small like this and I don't care, I'm just gonna go elsewhere that's much bigger, which is what I did. Then he does this. Um, I I think he might have been able to live this over if he played it right. And this is one thing that uh, you guys need to learn. You, you, do, you don't, I don't think right now it matters, but um, I don't think right now it matters because you can just toughen up the outside and get this territory and you would win anyways because he doesn't have any territory. But the thing is, when he does that, you don't have to actually, um, you, you, you don't have to uh, connect. Because if I do this, it's not a real eye anyways. And you just take away his eye space, he's pretty much dead in here. So that's what I did. Um, that's not going to help. I think the one thing he could have, he might have been able to do here is do this, but at this point, I'm not really sure how much that would have helped either. Because realistically, like, hang on, no. Like, realistically, um, yeah, there's, there's really not much you can do here. Even if I were to do this, you, you really couldn't do anything. Because this isn't really a thing. And you don't have that many liberties, so he's pretty much just dead in here. Of course, I just do that. Um, he's going to try to do something like this, but it just doesn't really matter at this point. And I'm pretty solid on the outside. And of course, like, he probably wants me to, like, do something like this, which really wouldn't matter at this point. Um, but realistically, even that, he's dead. So at this point, the game's over. It's been over for a while, but at this point, the game's over. So realistically, like, this really, really bad mistake in the corner started it. Um, and then, like, a lot of mistakes, like, fighting here and over here. And I, I, I made a mistake, too. I made a lot of mistakes. I made a lot of mistakes here. I think he might have been able to kill this. He might have been able to kill this, but uh, he missed this down here. And there was a lot of Aji there, and, like, this group was fairly threatened, so he might have not have been able to do that. And even if he did kill this, I would have... I would have actually gotten this huge wall over here and I'd still be ahead because I have this corner, he has this corner, this corner is a little bigger, but I have the huge wall over here, so I'd probably still be ahead at that point. So, hope you enjoyed this game, hope you learned something, like and subscribe, hit that bell notifications button, and I will see you next time.